Previously on the Fentertainment channel, I installed a wireless phone charging system. Be sure to click the link above to see how I did it. Hey guys, welcome back to the Fentertainment channel. I am Ryan Fenners. I have a late 2012 27-inch iMac that I do all of my editing on. And if you have an iMac and you do a lot of editing photos or videos and it randomly cuts off like that, well today I'm going to show you how to fix it. Stay tuned. So I laid a towel down on our kitchen table and I rested the iMac on its back to start this next procedure. I'm not gonna lie, I am scared to tackle this. I had to order some parts. This right here is a new um, power supply that goes into the machine. This is like a hundred bucks on uh, Amazon. I'll put a link in the description below and I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit. Also how to buy this stuff here one by one. This box here will attach the screen back to the unit. I have a 2012, late 2012 iMac 27 inch. Everything's built into the monitor itself. And when I say that, you have to remove the screen away from the computer. And I've done this a couple of times with cell phones and I've had one time, twice now, that I've completely ruined a phone um, by doing that. And I'm really scared that I really don't want to completely ruin this at all. I don't want to spend the money again. But anyways, um, it's got like a tool to remove the uh, stripping and all in a minute. I'll be going through all of that. Um, like a microfiber cloth. It's got these two suction uh, cups here. Basically, we'll put those in both sides, upper sides of the screen. And this will help pull the, uh, the screen away from the computer itself or the Mac machine. And it also has this 14-piece uh, portable tool kit. So it's got all of this stuff in here there. And guys, I will put a link in the description where I bought all of this stuff, which is only two things. It was just uh, this, all these tools was one kit. I think it was like 20 bucks if that. And the power supply was like 110. And I'll put a link in the description for that. But other than that, um, let's get started. All right, so here we go. We got this like little pizza cutter thing again. And we're just gonna stick it in between the glass and the computer itself and score the tape. Now the tape is what holds the glass to the computer itself. But let's also mention this. There is a camera up here. Now once we get to the camera, we're gonna stop on both sides. And once we go past the camera, we're not gonna push the little cutter all the way down. We're just gonna do it barely by that. So, let's get started. Guys, oh my goodness. This is what I've been scared to do right here. So there's two pins in here and we're gonna remove these this first one right here, uh, it's got six prongs on it. I don't know why uh, it's being blurry right now. This one pulls out. One is done. Okay, we have the glue disconnected up here. All around here, we went ahead and disconnected those two ribbon cables. One was a ribbon, one was like six wires. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove the screen, lay it on another towel that I have over here on the table. This is what we're working with. 
So my unit has a one terabyte hard drive. Here's the cooling fan. Uh, I guess this would be considered the motherboard right here. And this is what we will be replacing. This is your power supply. And you notice it's got like a, another type of cable there. All right, so I went ahead and muted the audio because my wife and kids came in from work and school. However, basically I used my fingers and worked this right here, little ribbon cable back and forth to finally remove it. This is on top of the left hand side of the power supply. There's also another one on the, on the top right hand side as well, shown here. There are four screws to remove from the power supply. I use this T10 screwdriver here. It's actually like a star head. And the two screws at the ribbon cables, those are the longer screws. And the two screws next to the main body of the computer, actually the bottom of the computer, those are two tiny screws. So just don't get those mixed up. After you get the four screws out, you're gonna have to wiggle it in a certain direction because there's a lip at the very bottom of the computer and your power supply fits underneath that lip. Now, once you get it to this stage, there's a small two con wire connector there. Once you get that wire off, there's another connector located, looks like on the motherboard of the computer and go ahead and grab that. And it's got like a little clip on it also and go ahead and remove it as well. So I wanted to give you a comparison between the old board and the new board. The one on the right is the old one we removed from the computer. The new one is on the left hand side. All right, I went ahead and reinstalled everything. Then I took a vacuum cleaner, cleaned up all the dust bunnies from the computer. In the toolkit, there is these adhesive strips. These are numbered and go in certain locations of the computers. And all of these strips have numbers built onto them. So it's very easy to place in the right order. Now, once you get these things right here placed in order, I just recommend just leaving them uh, pretty much uh, with the outer layer not exposed until you right before you put the glass down. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up. Here you can tell I am actually removing the uh, top layer of the adhesive tape and getting it ready to lay the screen down against the frame of the computer. Now, when you get to this step, make sure you plug in all the connectors that we unplugged to begin with. Make sure they go into the slot the right way and you don't have to open the computer back up or anything. That just makes a hassle of trouble. So just take your time. There's no rush. And uh, yeah, pretty much done. We uh, laid the screen, like I said earlier, around the you know, the aluminum frame of this uh, computer. And then there was a microfiber cloth that I went ahead and wiped the screen down with. And we're pretty much, pretty much over. Everything's working great now. And uh, I'm actually using it to make this video shown here. Okay guys, as you can see, the computer is pretty much finished here. And uh, I'm just trying to finish this uh, this DIY or this fix. Um, this is a very specific type of video. This will not be relatable to everyone, but if you have an ad Mac that is doing so much right here, then uh, do not hesitate. This was pretty easy. Um, just be careful when you're going around the edges that you don't crack the screen or anything. I think that was my main concern, but other than that, it's done. And I appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you later. All right, guys, I do appreciate you watching the Fentertainment channel. Be sure to check out the video we did previously, as we first mentioned in this video. If you aren't subscribed, please subscribe to the Fentertainment channel for more great DIYs and fixes. Also, check out these other great videos, and we'll see you later.